Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I wrote a letter which I call the open letter to money transfer operators and money services business. And, you know, it's something where, uh, you know, we sent this out to a lot of the companies we were working with, with whom we did research, etc. So we decided to publish it. Uh, the letter, I'll put the link uh, down below. It's our blog post. And, you know, the gist of those 12 pivot points that we talk about in that letter are mentioned here. So, you know, this is uh, basically a very simple, short run through of the 12 pivot points we talk about for money transfer operators. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a little bit of the background background on this thing. So we asked many companies and individuals what their top five pain points were, you know, what is it that they would like to work in, you know, prioritize, give us a top five, etc. Uh, so this is about four years of condensed work. We have spoken with over 100 money transfer operators and over a thousand fintech and entrepreneurs. You know, we've had telephone calls with actually somewhere between three and five thousand calls and all that data, you know, we sort of put it up together. It's our proprietary data and we decided to push it out. So, you know, the basic thing is what did we discover? So we discovered these 12 points, even though we kept asking for five, uh, you know, pain points, uh, we've seen that equally all across the spectrum, these 12 points are what really need, uh, you know, attention and where the money transfer operators are sort of stuck. So the first one is access to banking, you know, being able to hold a bank account in their name, you know, this is MSP friendly, et cetera. I'm not gonna, you know, read all that, um, all this information out. You can see it, it's already in the contact notes, etc. The second thing that we looked at was localized payment processing, predominantly ACH processing, you know, automated clearinghouse payments for United States looking for banks and payment institutions, you know, which offered low ACH for US based money transfer operators. It seems ACH is not as easy to get when it comes to international remittances. The third point was card acquiring and payment processing, being able to accept debit cards, credit cards were low on the requirement list. Some people do want, it, but anyways, you know, being able to accept uh, debit cards, but with a relatively lower MDR, not something that says, oh, you know, we'll charge you 7% or 8%, etc. cetera. So card acquiring and payment processing was very important to them. They also, I'm, I've also made a video separately. I'm just gonna put it up after maybe a couple of days that talks about a little bit about the card and payment processing. And you know, you, if you are subscribed to this channel, you should be able to see it. The next one was offshore or off territory banking relationships. So let's say you're based in, uh, I don't know, the US or Canada, you would like to have a bank account that you can control from the US or from the Canada, that is, let's say, in the EU or in UAE or in Turkey or in, you know, somewhere. Uh, a bank that provides you quasi, you know, uh, correspondent banking relationship and your Turkey and Europe were the preferred locations. Expand the payout network. So this is a huge one, you know, expand the network, the correspondent tie-up network, but at the same time, reducing the back office effort required, minimizing the capital associated with pre-funding, and, you know, how can they have on-demand liquidity and, you know, pre-funding uh, loans, if you will, even. So this was something that was a bit of a surprise for us. Wasn't really a surprise, but the fact that they knew about on-demand liquidity was something that was a, a huge surprise. The next is uh, online web-based system. All these small money transfer operators and medium-sized money transfer operators are looking at, you know, how can they, you know, have their own web-based solution without the IT headcount, without getting bothered in the complexities of owning the, you know, the software. And, you know, it comes with everything, you know, transaction, online transaction, EKYC, user registration, a TMS built in, a fraud management system built in, connected to the appropriate payment processors, etc. Just a, a full disclosure, my company has partnered up with someone and we have come out with a solution and we will be showcasing that, doing a demo on that in the coming days. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at an online based system, obviously we have it. Extended licensing options, how to increase your license outreach, you know, your license footprint without actually getting a license and how do you work without working with competitors? So the answer is not taken from the original MLS, the multiple listing service. Uh, not to be confused with the NMLS in the United States, the multiple listing service basically allows two realtors to sell one house. 
and it's done by sharing the commission and that's exactly what we do we get two license holder well we get a primary license holder to work with you and share the commission on the transaction that comes and it's, it's we've been very very successful with it there is no competition as such uh, if you understand the MLS portion or the MLS uh, industry, then you will know that how easy it is to uh, structure something like this together. The other one was more vertical product offering to be able to give customers more than just remittances. They want to be able to issue cards, bill payments, mobile top-ups, and other, other you know, vertically integrated, integrated services without an upfront investment. So that was a tough one, but you know, we, we looked at that and we think we have sorted that out as well oh this is a good one so gravitating away from remittances to a neo bank obviously most of the people we talked to did not understand the word neo bank but basically taking advantage of their existing customer base and converting it to a more revenue generating business base that offers you know maybe enhanced financial services products wallet debit cards credit you know credit based products etc where you can enhance your revenue generation so this was something that is very high on their list another one is uh, small value transfers and micro payments in real time not many people knew this thing it was a they had a funny way of sort of, you know, describing this, but in the end, we basically determined that they were talking about small value transfers and micropayments. And when we sort of gave them the idea, they say, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's that's what we are talking about. So small value transfers or micropayments in real time. The other one was obviously everyone wants to know how can they can increase their business, you know, increase the service offering to include B2B or B2C and other payment types and how to have and extend their physical network. How can they be part of a larger worldwide physical network, you know, for locations? Um, so let's say you have 10 locations in New Jersey. How can it be part of a greater uh, network in the world? So that was something that they wanted to do. The last one was how to get started with cryptocurrency. And this is this one I'm going to read out is moreover how to get started with cryptocurrency without jeopardizing the existing business relationships. So very important. How to get started with cryptocurrency without jeopardizing the existing business relationships, especially banking, payment processing, and whilst keeping things kosher with the regulator. So, you know, the long story short is of this video is we do it all, 100%. There's not one of these 12 points that we don't do. We do it all. And if you are a money transfer operator, small, medium, don't think the large ones need us, but a small, medium operator thinking about it, talk to us, seriously. We can really make it happen. You know, in the end, you can either be this. Do you want this? Store closing, going out of business. Or if you want it, we can catapult your uh, entire business. We really, we can. You know, the end, the choice is yours. I hope I was able to give you some form of semblance. If you have a general comment on this uh, video itself, uh, there are the YouTube comments are open. If you would like to get in touch with us regarding a business inquiry, there's a contact form in the description below. Please fill it out. If there's also a WhatsApp, you know, you can fill that out. Please note I use WhatsApp only for business purposes. And, you know, we'll be happy to talk to you. You don't have to subscribe to all the 12 points, but we can go through any of the points that you want and we can provide you a service for that. Anyways, till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.